and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the third day of pre-releases, and this is the battle between me and James. I believe this is round number one that we're facing right here. So during this, we got the Celesteela promo. Now, I remember me not actually playing the Celesteela promo. We used all of the Swampert line again. Um, I'm not too sure. I think we used quite a lot of stuff that had, um, like, uh, colourless attacks. So at least we had quite a few Pokemon to choose from. So we're all set up and ready to go with four prizes each. And I've only got one active, which I believe I think you saw was an Alolan Rattata. Um, and that, that was pretty interesting. That was uh, definitely a very, very interesting uh, choice. You'll see why. I think it is in this first this first game here where the choice becomes apparent. We've got a nice bit of energy and a few supporters in hand. We're just waiting for, uh, waiting for our turn to uh, commence. And then we can crack on and see how this goes. But um, obviously I'm recording this and all the pre-releases are now finished so the, tomorrow there'll be another um, opening of the pre-release and then we'll have another uh, game to uh, record over and uh, we're all good then and then we can uh, the set comes out on Friday which is some pretty uh, interesting stuff. So I'm hoping to do some extra videos as well uh, just before maybe one or two just before the set comes out and then obviously we'll have the unboxing opening some booster boxes etc. So that should be pretty, pretty fun. I'm just shuffling my hand over and over again here, ready to go. Come on. Uh, this one in particular, we had 45 minutes in the round, so we didn't really like go to a draw or anything. I don't think most of the time it didn't go to a draw. Uh, we were able to play at least the three rounds. Uh, having 45 minutes is a nice amount of time, especially for pre-release. You, you could normally be done within 20 minutes, even less than that. Well, I mean, I've put games up before where we've had less time taken. So, uh, why am I face palming? I don't know. Am I thinking he's got a GX or something? I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what I was thinking. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and this one, uh, this one actually took place in Cardiff. This was on a Saturday. So, that's pretty cool. Here we go. Round starts. Here we go. Cool. So, we got the Olin Rattata up front. Only 40 HP. Bit risky, but there is a reason for that. Uh, he's got a Plusle in the active. He has got a... I've got to look at that. Uh, is that the... That's Electric. Yeah, that's an Electric. It can, it can go uh, first if he goes second. So, obviously, he is going second. We've done an underground expedition there. He's also got a Skitty on the bench. So, four going down here. Let's have a look what we got here. Do we have any supporters? Maybe... Probably not Energy. But uh, we've got two cards going back on the bottom there. Okay. So... What have we got? Now, I think we have... There's the Hustle Belt. So we got the Hustle Belt. So basically, when that rat, uh, Rattata goes under 30 HP, happy days, because it does 60 more damage. Now, if we put a double colour on there, I think it does 40 or 20 damage. So with the Hustle Belt doing an extra 60, it's doing 80 for 2 energy. So we've attached the energy, so we can at least do 20 next turn to the Plusle. Uh, he's managed to get a Gulpin and a... that's a Chinchu down. Okay, cool. So when that Lantern starts going, as soon as his stuff gets knocked out... Oh, there's a Hustle Belt going on to that main ne main Etric there. No, it's Electric. No, it is a main Etric. Yeah, main Etric. What am I on about? And I think he's just done the attack. Uh, I think it's like Shuffle for All or... Something for all, where you basically shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw however many bench Pokemon there are, both his and mine. So he's, he's basically drawing into four there. Okay, so we have ourselves a Psychic Energy. Why am I running that? Why am I running Psychic Energy? I'm trying to remember why. Oh, I remember why we pulled the GX. Oh, that's why. We got the flipping bayonet full art. Okay, that's why we are. Ah, oh, right. Okay, it makes all sense now. So, do we actually get it out during this this round? I'm not too sure whether we do or not, but it's gonna be interesting. Could be prized. Who knows? We were just running a one-one line, but there's an uh, that's Bill's maintenance going in there. Um, we've got another Pokemon to the bench, which is our Sableye with Excavate as the ability. Not a bad uh, Pokemon there. Pretty cool. And we 
got a, another water energy going onto there, which means we can do the 20 there. We're going to excavate, see if we want that, which we don't, so we can discard it. If we did want it, it just stays on top. We do the 20 damage, happy days. So if he does decide to attack with that Plusle, I think Plusle does either 20 or 10 damage. We're then going to be able to hit it for a nice 80, which will get the knockout, which is pretty cool. Our only problem is we don't have a lot on the bench at this moment in time, which is uh, kind of worrying, but I think we're I think we're okay. <clears throat> I think we're all right. Okay. So what is going on here? Does he have an evolution? Oh, he has evolved that to his lantern. Okay, nice. There's another uh, lightning energy going onto there. He's doing something, but I can't see his supporters. But he's drawing... Ah, oh, that's probably a great ball there. He's getting seven, and then he's probably going to be looking for a Pokemon there. We're getting ready with a dice. <clears throat> Is he going to maybe go for the Swalot? No, he's going to go for another Mainetric. Okay, another Mainetric. He can place it. No, he can't place it down because he's not going second. But if he did have the Electric, then at least he could evolve it. He does have the Skitty on the bench. No Delcati just yet. Probably a good thing because then he can get some supporters back later on. There is the Electric there coming down though. And then he's doing what I believe to be 10 or maybe 30 damage there. I'm not too sure, leaving us with just 10. Regardless, taking even just 10 damage is going to allow us to use the Hustle Belt. Which is why I put it in there with the Rattata. <clears throat> and it's unfortunate that we didn't get the Raticate. But anyway, we've got a Tate and Lisa coming out here. So we're going to do the uh, Shuffle and then uh, get the 5. Of course, we can also use that if we wanted to to switch, but there's no point because there's nothing on our bench that uh, can come up and uh, KO it. Now, I did just see the Shuppet there. Uh, sorry, the um, Bayonet there. I don't know if you guys did. It's just whether we can get the Shuppet out and the Bayonet, seeing as it is just a 1-1 one -one line. <clears throat> so we're splitting the, uh, the deck there, and we can draw our 5 here, see what we can get from this. Might be able to pull something quite nice. Oh, I can see the Bayonet there, but we can't play it down. There's the Mudkip coming down there, but we do have the Bayonet in hand. It's so whether we can find the Shuppet. So we've got a Poke Nav coming out. So this basically allows us to look at our top three cards. And if we find an Energy or a Pokemon, then we can put it into our hand. But we didn't find any, so we can just shuffle. And everything is all good. There we go. Cool. Anything else at all? Uh, water energy going on the mud ki mud kip, cool. So that's getting ready, and then because of the hustle belt, it does eighty, which is going to be able to knock out the plusle. Happy days, we can take a prize. Uh, it's an energy, of course it's an energy. Why not? Okay, and the lantern's ability allows the user to take a discarded uh, Pokemon's energy and place it onto it, so that's not bad. Hustle belt on that main metric there as well. So if we lower it too much it's going to be able to really hit some damage for us but regardless it does 40 for just one energy so it is going to knock us out regardless of what our health is because seen as rats there only has 40 hp another chinchu going on the bench there he's checking about the hustle belt there is he going to place the energy on there to get a quick ko that is the question so we're having a look at our discard there all oh, right i know what i was doing i was sorting out how many supporters i've used because Bayonet's attack is very much uh, orientated with that. Now we've got our Marsh Donk coming down there and another energy there, so we can do the 2020 attack, but not the 70 attack just yet. So hopefully we can maybe draw into the Swampert next turn so we can get some power draws going. There is another 60, it looks like, damage going on there. Oh no, 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 it is 80. It is 80. I just can't see the two dice. But he goes for the 40 there. All good. Rats to coming down. Oh, he's out, so that's fine. Three and three on the prizes. Marsh Domp is up front now. Do we have the Swampert? Excavate to see what we've got. And it's a Psychic Energy, which we're going to keep because we don't have any in hand. So we're going to do 20 to that. And also 20 to probably the Lantern, I'm guessing. So now that should be up to 100. And it's only got 110, but it does have free retreat, which is pretty cool. But that now has access to the Hustle Belt. There's an evolution, uh, evolve into Swallow there. And an evolve into the Lantern as well. <clears throat> I 
Uh, another energy going on there. He doesn't need to do any more damage there, but there is that going. Marsh Stomp is gone. Up comes up comes Sableye now. So Sableye's gonna hopefully be able to do ten, which will be a knockout. Uh, but then he can bring up the the lantern with that extra energy attached. Re uh, re get rid of them. I need to do an 140. So this is looking like a bit of a loss round here. We're excavating to see what we've got. Mass Royale, we don't need that, but it is a supporter, so we're putting that in the pile due to Bayonet's attack. We're going to do the 10, which is enough to knock it out regardless. Yep, cool. It gets knocked out, and the energy can then be placed onto the lantern. And I think I know what's going to happen here. He brings up the lantern with these the three energies attached. And he should, even without discarding, he can do the 70. Delcati coming down there to get two supporters out of the discard. So we got a How and an Underground Expedition. <clears throat> Regardless of what he does, we've, we've lost. We've literally lost. And there is Sableye gone. Goodbye. He is out of here. Where was it? Was it at the very end? It didn't look as if it was prized. Otherwise, we probably would have slammed out the table and went, Oh, it was prized. What am I doing? But uh, sort of a quick round there, about maybe about eight, seven or eight minutes there. So not, not, not bad. Pretty quick round. At least for round one. So opponent has to, uh, has to win this round to claim victory here. Or can we pull it back? Can we indeed pull it back? Now the reason I was running uh, paint br uh, Rainbow Brush was because if I played that and got a Psychic Energy and placed it onto my Swampert, and obviously Swampert relies very much on having a lot of Water Energy attached, I could use the Rainbow Brush and then uh, switch out that Psychic Energy that I may have attached for a Water in my deck, so that's pretty cool. So looks as if we just decided who's going first and second. Knowing me, I probably said I'm going to go first. Looks as if we've got Bayonet in hand there, but we don't have the Shuppet. But there is... There we go. Now that's for the first time he got revealed. It's kind of uh, kind of ideal for me that I have the GX counter up, because I, I think if you don't get a GX during the pre-release, there's no point in having a GX counter, because you're not going to be using it. I know it is part of a rule... And obviously, most other games would have GXs in them, but the fact is, it's sort of a nice hint to think, oh, well, you didn't, you didn't have a GX counter, so you must not have a GX. Oh, hold on, he does have a GX counter. He does have a GX. That sort of thing. So, drawing for seven looks as if we just mulligan there. Are we going to go for a second mulligan? Yes, we are. Okay, that is two mulligans. Wow, it's not as if I didn't have uh, a lot of. Uh, Basics in my deck. There was quite a few. There was Sableye, Rattata. There was one Shuppet. There was probably three Mudkips. Possibly even more. I'm not too sure. But there was quite a few. Okay, here we go. Draw number three. Let's see how we can do here. Another one? Wow, okay. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so that's three there. <laughs> of course, if it goes to five, then I have to call a judge. Which I don't think happened. I'm pretty sure it didn't happen. I don't know how many mulligans I got. But we're at three at the moment. Can we go for four? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that hand! That much energy is in that! That's four mulligans. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm mulliganed on this fifth turn, but that's four mulligans that, that uh, my opponent could have taken. So let's see what we can get on this shuffle. There's the shuffle it there. Split coming up. Doo -doo. Boo -doo. Okay, let's see what we can get from this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bang. Bring him up, and what do we have? Energy, 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 energy. Hey, okay, we did have an active. It looks as if it might be a mudkip there. And then four on the prizes there. There we 
we go. Right, so, all good to go. It's got a nice full bench. Yeah, we did get the mud kip. Okay, and it was the better one of the two. Okay, draw for turn. So we are going first. Cool. So, probably going to attach. Yeah, water energy goes on. Then we've got a timer ball coming out, which allows us to uh, try and get two other cards. Was that a double there? Might have been. I know we got a four there. Oh, we did also have a Cacnea as well. That was just for uh, putting it up the front. And if they do attack, oh, we're bringing out the oh, we're bringing out the bayonet and the Marsh Stomp as well. Bring out those two. Now at that point, I think I should have either thought, do I have it in my hand or is it in my deck for the Shuppet? Because otherwise, I could have just got the uh, Swampert out instead. Regardless, we are grabbing those two out. So we obviously got a double there pretty nice not every time you do get a double so that's pretty nice definitely take it so that is our turn we can't do anything else there alrighty so he has got an electric a mainetric a skitty and the promo mainetric as well and a chinchu just going on the bench there energy going on there so he's gonna be able to do 40 damage which isn't enough to knock us out because I think this uh, that mudkip has 70 so that's not bad and now I'm trying to make a spinning top out of my dice. That's not what they're there for. <laughs> oh, I'm just enjoying life with that dice. Wow. Whoa, right on the Lapras. <laughs> okay, so we've got the 40 going on there and the two energies there. Now that should only be to one Pokemon. There we go. To correct him there. Awesome. Okay, so we can evolve into that, and then we can also attach another water energy as well, which will allow us access to get the 2020 attack. Can we do anything else here? Okay, so 20 on the main metric, 20 on the Chinshu, which has now been evolved into a lantern there with two energies already on it which is pretty nice one energy going on to that main metric which is only energy it does need now if that main metric in the front does uh, get knocked out then of course that energy can get uh, taken by the lantern and then it's ready and powered up which is pretty nice Skitty's just sat there on the bench probably ready for a Delcati to come along so it can uh, utilize the ability And is he going to do 40? It looks as if he might be doing 40 here, which puts us up to 80 out of 90. No, he's bringing up the... Uh, he's bringing up the Lantern with the two energies attached. Right. So he's already attached. Ah, haha, <laughs> okay. So a, a little, little bit of a misplay there. Now, if we manage to get a, sw a Swampert, which we do, oh, that lantern's gone. Oh, that is big, big stuff. There's the energy on there. So that is getting knocked out regardless of what happens here. Do we get anything else, though, off? I can see maybe a, a, a Marsh Stomp in hand. Well, we don't need to worry about that. We have Swampert in the active with only 40 damage on it. It still has uh, 120, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's got enough to knock out that Lantern, which is a pretty nice uh, access to a prize there. Pretty nice. And now I'm crossing my arms and I'm sitting back and I'm ready to see what he's got now. Because the two main metrics, regardless of what they do, are only going to be able to hit 40. So we're going to be able to knock both of them out. Skitty getting a lightning energy there. Interesting. Very interesting. Although if you do... I think it was called Cat Kick or something. If that does happen... Oh, it looks as if... Uh, very shuffling anyway. Not too sure what he might have played. He might have played... Oh, I bet you he's played a copycat. I'm pretty sure he might have played copycat there. So if he draws six... Three... Six... Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he did just play copycat there. I can't see his supporters, but I'm just guessing from what I can see. Did he get anything good or decent off of that? Of course, he, if he does get the Del, uh, the Delcati, he can get that copycat back, which is pretty nice, unless he's got a second one. 
Uh, but there's a hustle belt going on to that main metric there. Probably not going to save it because the Swampert's going to be able to deal some pretty good damage. Plus, he'll come in down to the bench here. Very, very interesting. Like, you look at his side and you think, oh, he's got the advantage here. You know, look at all the Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. But I've just got that one Pokemon there. He's doing 40 damage against me, which puts us up to 80 there. And the two energies can only be attached to one Pokemon. Uh, otherwise, that would be pretty broken. But it goes on the Plusl, so the Plusl is now powered up and ready to go so we, we've got the power draw there for three getting rid of a fisherman i think there uh we've got possibly a oh there's a pokey nav coming out here so let's see what we can get we got some energies j literally three energies okay so we're going to keep the water energy out and the other two go back on the top we have the water energy cool now we could attach that to the swampert but the swampert has got enough power on it at the moment to knock out anything on his side We've only got 80 damage on us, which means we still have 80 more to take. And seeing as he's got this main metric and the other one, we're pretty good. We've got a Bill's Maintenance, something going back into our hand there. Uh, I mean, our uh, deck. So we can draw three cards from this. Just drop all the cards. Why don't you just drop them all? Right, Bill's Maintenance. Let's see what we can get from this. Is the Shuppet in the deck somewhere? We've got the Bayonet. We've had the Bayonet for quite some time. But we've got three cards there. We've got some energies. Um, there's a Rainbow Brush as well if we did need that. But there's no other basics in hand. Now, I mean, most people will probably be like, oh, this is a little bit a little bit awkward. You know, I've only got a Swampert. But, I mean, you look at his side and we're able to knock that out easily. And the only thing that can do some really good damage, there's nothing there that can paralyze us. There's something there that can do 40 damage, which is not enough to knock us out. But we can knock that out, take the Hustle Belt... And then, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good because that plus that plus is going to be able to get one hit, the Skitty and the Electrike, regardless of whether he gets a main metric out or not. So he's looking at my hand. We have quite a lot in hand there. Quite a lot indeed. So we've got a Chinchu coming down there. And that might... I don't think that was... Uh... That was a copycat there, but we got a lantern coming out there. That might have been a uh, great ball, possibly. Might have been a great ball, possibly. <laughs> I don't think it was a timer ball because you didn't roll, and it wasn't a nest ball because that was not a basic. So great ball. I'm going with that. But the plusel has two uh, energy on it. The l the chinchu will evolve into a lantern next turn. No. Mm, yeah, it will be next. It be next turn. He is attaching an energy there. And doing another 20 damage to us. Rattata and a oh, Mudkip coming out there. Nice. So we have got some bench Pokemon now coming out. Water Energy going on to our Mudkip as well. Rainbow Brush getting, I was going to say traded away, but power drawn away uh, to get another three cards. We get a Sableye from that so we can excavate to see what we can do. Not that I think we really need to know what's coming up because we've pretty much got a pretty decent setup now. Uh, we know we've got that Marsh Stomp in hand. Uh, we got the Rattata there. Uh, one of the people next to me was uh, pointing out a few things as I was doing it. I think that is rounded finished and just having a little chat about where I possibly might have done things differently, which is, I guess is fair enough. It is completely fair enough. But, I mean, looking at it now, you can see pretty much that this could be my game here. We've got an Excavate coming up for an Underground Expedition, which we are going to keep. And then we're going to get the knockout on the main metric there, which is pretty nice. So, uh, he didn't bother to put any of the lightning energy onto the Chinchu there. Brings up the Chinchu, looking to possibly uh, get some uh, charging up of that. He's going to get an energy on that, but that is going to get knocked out. Regardless of whether he evolves into the Lantern, that is going to get knocked out. The Delcati is coming out now. He's going to be able to get two supporters out. Uh, we've got a How. Uh, maybe a copycat. I can see that there. Yep, copycat. Oh, no, not the how is getting withdrawn. And an underground expedition getting taken. Okay, nice. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. So he's copycatting for about 59 cards right there. I think it was 11. Oh, I remember what happened here. I think he copycatted. And he only had 11 cards left in his deck. So if he didn't do... If he didn't knock out four of my Pokemon this turn, 
he would have lost. Regardless, he would have lost because if he took, went over to my turn, I would have knocked him out. Wow. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. So that's it. Wow. Okay. So we called it there. Wow. Okay. Nice. Very nice indeed. So it, not that it was a stalling out, but it was a very much like draw supporting, drawing a lot of cards and being like, oh, hold on, I haven't got enough here. Still haven't seen the Shuppet or Bayonet in this one, which is unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. Very nice card though. Really, really interesting. The ability is very cool. Um, it does have to be in the active though, which is unfortunate. It uh, moves one damage counter from any Pokemon to any other Pokemon. So it can be from your Pokemon to theirs, or from, for example, from Bayonet to the, the active of your opponent. So it just does that extra little bit of damage. Might be enough to get a knockout, which is pretty nice. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. And the attack itself as well uh, does 30 plus, and then for every supporter in your discard pile, it does 10 more damage. And it can only do uh, it can only do 10 of the supporters, so it can only do 130, which is pretty cool. 130 choice band, you know, 160. That's pretty cool, pretty nice. And the GX as well. Uh, as much as I can't remember the name, it allows you to get out three uh, three discarded cards. That's literally it from the discard pile. So we've got an active and a benched Pokemon. Our deck is ready to go and we can place our prize cards up. Very cool. Alrighty, looks as if we're all ready to go. Are we going to go first or second? Oh, that's a Kecleon up the front. Yes, okay. So Kecleon, I've decided to put that in there. It was a colourless Pokemon for three energies it was able to do 80 which i thought you know that's pretty good during a pre-release a lot of uh, at, like uh, basic pokemons and everything but we've got a pokey now for there coming out to allow us to get a pokemon we get the rattata there interesting choice which we then bench because that would have gone into our hand to be benched and anything else we can do we got a timer ball coming out here which will help get some uh, additional stuff we get what looks like possibly two tails there yeah, it looks as if we just roll two tails. Okay, that's it. That's uh, unfortunate. And we can't really do anything now. We're going to excavate to see what we've got. We've got ourselves a Marsh Stomp coming up there. Not that I really need to do that after I uh, pokey now, but hey ho. So we've got a Chinchu in the active and on the bench on the opponent's side. <clears throat> that might be a Nest Ball coming out there. I'm not too sure. Yeah, that is a basic. Okay, so the Nest Ball just came out. Now, if he evolves that into a Swalot and starts doing the flipping Amnesia, ho -ho, we are not happy. Not happy at all. And there is something purple in his hand, so this could be interesting. So, is he going to be Great Balling here? No, that's four there. So, that other, oh, right, he probably just Underground Expeditioned, which means he's probably going to put two on the bottom of his deck. Yep. All good. And a Electrite coming up there. Possible Great Ball. Yeah, that's definitely a Great Ball. For seven cards. See if you can get a Pokemon in that. Any Pokemon at all, or is it just a load of energy? There is a Plusle, but he's going to pick up the Lantern. That's going to help him next turn. However, he is going to have to power that up, so uh, that's going to take a little bit of time. He goes on to the Chinchu there. I think it can do 10. I think it's Spark for 10 or something like that. But it does 10 damage regardless. Which is not all bad. So we drew into that uh, Swampert. Uh, we're going to excavate to see what we've got. We've got an Underground Expedition coming up. So he's not going to be able to knock us out next turn. Regardless of whether he gets the Lantern evolved or not. Um, and Energy will be going on to what in particular? energy down yet I think I had a super scoop up in hand and he just said oh I like I like the artwork on it looks really cool it's like it does it's got magnemite flying into a, what looked like a black hole or something but there we go right so what are we gonna do now can I just stop swinging on the chair like <laughs> okay so up comes the swallow there 
So he, he only needs to get one any <coughs> sorry one energy on there because the first attack anyway <coughs> is a uh, bleh, colorless attack for the amnesia which does thirty. He's going to do uh, twenty and oh one and one. Okay, so that's probably the other attack there. Underground expedition coming out there for four cards from the bottom. What do we manage to snag from the bottom? Uh, that could be a mudkip in hand there. Yeah, possibly, yep. Yeah. Those two going back on the bottom. We've got our other cards. That goes in the discard. Happy days. Mudkip going onto the bench, I'm guessing. Yep, yeah, Mudkip down. Awesome. And are we going to bother putting energy on the Kecleon? Or are we just going to... Okay, so it looks as if we might be leaving it for a bit of cannon fodder here. Um, now, if he, he, he is probably going to evolve into the Lantern next turn, he's going to be able to attach a Lightning Energy if he manages to draw into it. There's the Lantern, there's the Energy, so he's going to be able to do 70, which is going to knock us out. He doesn't have to remove the Energy, he may, and then that does 70 more. So now we're in a bit of a bad, bad position here. We're bringing Sableye up regardless. And then we've got the other mudkip, the, 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 do you call it derpy? I don't know, it looks a bit, a bit confused, a bit confused. Uh, energy though going on the Sableye there, so that's going to be able to do 10, and then I think it stops one of my opponent's attacks, I think it's called the Sable, so I can stop the other attack, seeing as it's only got an ability. It will be able to retreat, uh, but there's nothing on the bench there, unless he does power up that Swallot that is like really like, woohoo, I need to watch out. <clears throat> So we've done our 10 damage and we stopped him from attacking us, which means we now have a bit more time to sort of help ourselves here and get more set up, which means we can put more energy onto that Marsh Domp to try and get some damage done. Two energies getting retreated here, and he's bringing, of course, he's bringing up the, uh, the Swallot there. One energy has to be attached. There we go. So he can do the uh, Amnesia for 30, and we can't use our attack there, which is unfortunate. So we really need to start sorting ourselves out here. So there is... Oh, okay, we've got the Swampert coming out. So we can use the Power Draw. Possibly just thinking about which card I want to get rid of. There we go. That looks like the Super Scoop Up going. And we managed to get a Marsh Donk coming down there and an Energy there. So we've got some Evolutions and a bit of power, uh, Energy coming from that. So that's pretty cool. And that's our turn. We can't attack, and I don't want to get rid of. I uh, don't want to bring anything else up because otherwise he's going to get an easy price card. As much as he's probably going to be able to do thirty damage here, I don't think it knocks out the Sableye just yet. I think Sableye might have about seventy or eighty health. Uh, but a great ball there. <clears throat> so he's going to be able to. Uh... Wait a second. What? Is that a great ball or a nest ball? That is a great ball, isn't it? Why is there a great ball? Or is he going to great ball after that? Ah, look. There we go. And now he's going to great ball. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, cool. Oof. He must have nest ball before that then. Okay, nice. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, great ball is a ditto? Ditto nest ball? What? So up comes uh, what looks like the Mainatric promo there. <clears throat> and then he's going to do the amnesia for 30 which again won't knock us out but it does stop us doing the attack but that gives us more time now to start powering up everything else we have another mudkip to the bench there even though we can't evolve that uh, we've got a power draw for that psychic energy trying to get uh, some pretty interesting stuff there a timer ball in hand possibly Ooh, what have we got? We've got a timer ball, okay. So we can timer ball for possibly... Oh yes, okay, we can get the Swampert. We could possibly get a Bayonet. Um, it's entirely up to what we want. We don't have the Shuppet on the bench, though. Is it in hand? Okay, so the Bayonet is there. But we probably will be going for the Swampert. 
we're going to get the Swampert. Yep, okay, Swampert coming out from the Time of All. And the Shuppet has been prized, it looks like. Because otherwise, I think I might have pulled that out. Okay, so I believe we can actually evolve that this turn. Yep, cool, nice. Just check in there. Underground Expedition to see what the bottom four cards are. Pick two of them, and then the other two go to the bottom. Uh, we got a Cacnea there, which is probably not the best thing to pull out. Ooh, ooh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, Cacnea and what looks like maybe Tate and Lisa going back on the bottom there, I think. Oh, we got Bill's Maintenance. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Can't use that this turn though, but we can put more energy on the Swampert, so at least we know now that that Sableye is going to get knocked out. Then we can start doing some proper damage here. Um, and even when that Lantern is powered up with three Lightning, it won't be able to knock us out for 140 because Swampert has 160, so we're all good. Um, so yeah, we're looking pretty nice, pretty cool. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. So, um, he's great balled already. There's a hustle bang going on there, so he's obviously getting ready for a possible uh, Swampert destruction going on here. Swampert coming up here. We know we've got that water energy in hand, which we can attach to it to get a knockout on that, which is pretty nice. Already thinking ahead if he brings up that lantern, which is probably the best play for him to get some decent damage on. Bill's maintenance coming out there to allow to shuffle in and then draw another three. All of the deck is looking a little bit sparse. Just a little bit sparse, so that's going to be uh, probably uh, probably going to have to hold on for a few draw draw supports now, because otherwise we're going to uh, deck out. So three coming from that. What do we manage to get from those three? Uh, energy Tate and Lisa looks like pretty nice. Can't do another supporter now, but uh, we're going to be able to knock the uh, Swalot out because it does a oh, nice whopping 140 there. So there's a prize gone. No doubt he's going to bring up that lantern. Yep, the lantern is going to come up. The lantern's got to come up now. Look at that. I'm setting up the finale there. Got the three there, right there. We don't need any more basics. We got Swampert. So now all we have to do is just basic. Oh, he's bringing up the plus. So okay, easy KO there. He is bringing that up. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So he's either going to do the 10 damage or he's going to do the draw thing again, which he'll be able to get seven. Looks as if he's just howled there. Going to get another gulpin coming down there. And he is going to draw. I think it's draw for everybody. I think that's what it's called. Draw for everybody. Um, like I said, you shuffle your hand into your deck. And then you draw as many as the bench. And at the moment there's eight. So he gets eight cards. Which I mean isn't bad. So three, six, eight there. Leaving just a few in his deck. So that's uh, pretty interesting. Don't want to be copycatting now. And that's all he's doing there. He's probably going to allow us to take the KO on the plus all there. Energy going on the Swampert. Easiest thing to do there. Power that thing up so we can get ready just in case the other one does go down. Having a look in the discard there. Not that we really need to, to be honest. We're looking pretty decent. We got the energy we need to. And we're going to get the knockout on the plus all there, which is another prize. Funny how things change very quickly. Okay, oh, arms are crossed, legs are shaking, everything's good. <laughs> Gulpin coming up now, okay, so he's let, he's trying to, ooh, is he going to try for the asleep? There's a Delcatty coming down there, though, and he's getting out an underground expedition and possibly an Apricorn maker there, I think. I think I was pointing out there that uh, the Shuppet has been prized. But there, there... Is Mr. Amnesia there? So that's that's pretty interesting because we're not able now to do that uh, that attack. So we could retreat, which would be interesting. Now see, that's going to do thirty. It's going to stop us. But if we hold on, get some energy going on that thing, retreat it, put the energy on, come up, take it out. Happy days. It won't have been able to do anything to the bench, at least to the bench swampert. The chinchu comes, oh sorry, the lantern comes up, we're able to KO that, happy day. So 30 going on there and that's going to amnesia us, so we can't do anything. We have a lot of water energy in hand, so probably the best thing to do would be place water energy on the swampert and literally just say turn. 
We're going to power draw for a few more cards. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we've got a Cacnea in hand, which we are going to play to the bench there. And if the, the ability itself, pretty interesting. If it goes into the active and it gets attacked, even if it is knocked out, your opponent is then poisoned. Um, so it's very, very good for a stall. If you can get that first turn and just place it up, even if it is knocked out, they are poisoned. And poison is pretty pretty annoying, especially if you can't retreat, you can't get out of there. Some of the stuff here is pretty bulky. Celesteela, Metagross, that sort of stuff. You need to then power it up with all the energy necessary. But that thing is just chipping away slowly but surely. All good. Person next to me just having a look, look through my deck, seeing what's going down. Okay, what are we going to do here? We got a lightning energy going on to the main metric there, and another 30 going on there. So, this is what we're going to do here. This is what I think is going to happen. We're going to retreat the Swampert. Bring up the other Swampert, get the KO on the Swalot. Happy days. Yep, that comes up there. Oh, we're going to go for a switch. Okay, didn't see that come in. Switch coming out there. Dice just getting switched there. That gets a knockout on that. And now we can take the KO on it. energy going on to that big massive lantern there it's only going to be able to do 140 which is not enough to knock out the swampert here is he going to just call it quits will he call it quits here i'm not too sure electrite coming down that's really not going to save you mate it's not going to save you it's already got damage on it as well i think we put 10 damage on it from uh Oh no, that probably was 20 damage from... Oh, copycat coming out here. Okay, for a whopping ton of cards. But there we go. Game has been called there. He's uh, just doing that to, for a bit of fun. Awesome stuff. Very, very cool indeed. <laughs> very, very cool. There we go. So we got the we got the win there. Very nice. No GX needed. Uh, but that Swamper, very, very cool. I like it a lot. The power draw is very cool. Um, and I could possibly see it getting some uh, some pretty interesting play, um, even competitively. It's going to be very, very interesting. But uh, there we go. Very big, big, big episode here. But regardless of that, I will see you guys in the next video, which will no doubt be tomorrow for another opening from the pre-release. So I will see you then.